This is a new report from the Corcoran Group on Manhattan's residential real estate market, and it shows Wall Street's problems have definitely hurt high-end sales. Now, that would be good for buyers who are getting the best deals in years. Not so great, of course, for sellers, including some folks completely wiped out in the Madoff scandal. More now from two of the best in the business, Dahlia Lenz at Prudential Douglas Elliman, the number one broker in the U.S., along with Pamela Liebman, who's the CEO of the Corcoran Group. And Pamela, the number that sticks out to me, traditionally you say that the uh, sales drop off between third and fourth quarter in Manhattan every year is about 15, 17 percent. What you're guesstimating this year is a drop off of 40 to 50 percent, wow. cut in half, yes? Yes, it was a very, very big drop, and uh, it's something that uh, happened right after September 15th. Uh, the sales just really dried up for us here in New York. After the demise of Lehman Brothers and, and all the aftermath of that. And Dolly, I, I imagine you've seen a drop off as a result of the credit crisis and the Bernie Madoff thing, right? Well, absorption has gone way down, so that really is the most significant number, I think, coming out of this report. Can we talk more about the Madoff effect? I'm reading that both of you have seen deals fall apart because you were dealing with customers who turned out to be Madoff victims, right, Pamela? Yeah, I mean, very, very unfortunate. People all excited about closing on an apartment, and then one day they wake up and they're wiped out. So not only did they have the loss through Madoff, but then they had to walk away from uh, significant deposits on apartments. So but not something good to see here. Dolly, give me a sense of magnitude. How many? I mean, is this widespread? Is this a couple deals? Well, we've lost five or six, wow. but they're significant deals. And as Pamela said, it's, it's an issue where not only did they lose their money, they lost their deposits, they lost their new home, they've really lost almost everything. Pamela, am I getting bargains as a result of the decline in prices here? You know, you can try and get bargains, but they're tough to find, and that's why we see so <coughs> few deals happening. There's a real dis disconnect here between the sellers and the buyers. The buyers are looking for bargains. The sellers are yet ready to give them, are not ready to give them yet. Ladies, we had breaking news. We apologize. We have to leave you at this point, but thank you both for your, your honest appraisal of what's going on in Manhattan right now. Thanks very much for being with us. See today. you later. Still to come, this company makes the steel parts that say... No, we're, we're, we're leaving oh, we're it right it. now. Yes. This is it? We're going to go yes, away yeah. because oh, we're going to get ready time. for street signs so and all fun. that. And but so I, am, I am interested to hear that two of the top residential real estate people in New York City are willing to admit this is a tough time right now. The fact that I think that Dolly said they lost five or six deals and she's the top broker in the country, that's a significant amount of money. They're big deals. Right. But, but sale prices in Manhattan, if I heard Diana Oleg, it was up. The price, average price up 8% from a year ago, yes. right? At a time of the worst real estate market in modern history, the Big Apple still managed to shine a bit. And because of co-ops that demand so much money down, you don't see nearly as many foreclosures because there's still a lot of equity left in these right. places. Just give me that $10,000 tax credit, Obama, and I'll buy, baby. I'll you buy this You year. might get it. You no. never know. That is street sign. Uh, that is uh, Power Lunch. Thank you for joining us. Street Signs with Aaron Burnett is coming up in just a moment here. We'll see you again tomorrow. Dow's holding on to a game.